just for fun, let me set it down on the table. I'm gonna keep talking right here. And now I'll go further back. We're in the very back. Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Samsung Galaxy A03s. If you're interested in this phone or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks really nice. This phone is available in multiple colors and the specs are as follows. We have 32 gigabytes of storage, but that is expandable with the micro SD card, three gigs of RAM and a 6.5 inch display. We also have 15 watt fast charging supported. Huge shout out and special thanks to Visible for sending us this device to be able to create this video. If you've never heard about Visible, don't worry, I have you covered. Let's learn more. Visible by Verizon is a simpler way to do wireless for $30 a month. Yes, that includes taxes and fees. You can get unlimited talk, text, and data nationwide in the US on Verizon's 5G and 4G LTE network. Let's not forget about our unlimited hotspot at five megabits per second, built-in spam protection, and unlimited talk and text to our friends in Canada and Mexico. For $45 a month, you can choose the Visible Plus plan that features everything we just mentioned and more. Wow. You get 5G ultra wideband, premium network experience at 50 gigabytes, and additional international benefits and a $10 a month savings on Verizon home internet. See our affiliate link in the video description for additional information. Now let's go ahead, open it up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents for our A03S. First up, you'll notice we have our quick start guide in terms and conditions, walking us through everything we need to know about our new device, how to get it connected and to finish setup. On the back side, we have those terms and conditions and our legal and compliance information. Next, we have our SIM removal tool right here to easily pop out the tray. Next up, we have our white USB type C to USB type C charging cable. Take note that there is no USB power brick or power supply provided. And then lastly, we have the phone itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at this in more detail. Here's a look at the front of our Galaxy A03s. You may notice we have our 6.5 inch display, hole punch camera up here at the very top. We have a headphone jack and USB type C port. Got a speaker there. On the right side, we have our power button and our control buttons right here. Here's a quick peek up at the top. On the other side, you'll notice up in the top left hand corner, we have our SIM card slot and tray. And on the very back, you'll find a nice plasticky textured back with Samsung's logo and branding, our IMEI number down here and all of our cameras and sensors in this nice bundle up in the corner that's slightly raised above the back of the phone. Now let's go ahead, let's power it on and try it out. All right, here's our first boot, check it out. We have our home screen right here, all fired up and ready to go. This is all stock, we haven't changed or tweaked anything. You'll notice maybe on your device, if you set it up, obviously you'll have a different weather and time there depending on your location but this is it, what you see is what you get. You'll notice first and foremost, we have some Google and Microsoft apps for us. Some of you might call that bloatware, depending on if you want them or you don't want them on your phone. Let's go ahead, let's swipe up from the bottom. You'll see all the other apps that come with it. We have some Samsung apps, again, same thing, bloatware to some of you. You may notice we have Netflix and Spotify already installed. And then this little bubble here, these are the apps that I did install. Those did not come on the phone, but everything else from YouTube Music to Spotify, Netflix, Facebook, all of that came directly on the phone. You'll notice if we swipe over here, we have our Google News curation. That'll populate articles and stuff for you. Pull down from the top if you wanna see, taskbar right here. Some different options that we have right there. Now let's take a look at the storage settings. Here's a snapshot of the storage before I installed any apps. So right after it initially booted up and we installed our updates, this is all the space that was used up. So out of our 32 gigabytes, we're using 42% or 13.54 gigabytes. That's gonna leave us like 19, 18, 20 gigabytes left of usable space. Most of this is going in the system 
option going to be, our OS, things like that. We have almost four gigs in the other category as well. But don't forget, you can always expand the storage with a micro SD card. On the A03S, we have a couple different ways to unlock our phone besides the standard code, pin, things like that. We can use the built-in fingerprint sensor right here on our power button, or we can use the front facing camera to unlock it with, you guessed it, our face. So first up, let's go ahead. Let's try to unlock it with our thumbprint. Watch how quick it is. So there we go. We're into the phone. This does a really nice job recognizing fingerprints. I'm impressed with the fingerprint reader on this device. It's not too slow or anything like that. It never really has any issues for me. Maybe it's my thumbs. I don't know, but it's a nice convenient spot to have it. And I think I like it better than having it in the screen. The screen is cool, but this seems a little bit more practical to me. Now let's go lock our phone. And maybe you'll notice up at the top, we have this little unlock icon. Maybe you see the white lines going around the camera. It's scanning and looking for a face to unlock this with. So let's try it right here. Let's see. There we go. If you notice that now we just swipe up and we're in. It might be hard to see on camera. We'll try it one more time but I'm impressed that it responded so quickly. So there we go. It got us again, and then we can swipe up and we're into the phone. I do want to point out, I like that when we unlock it with our finger, it goes straight into the phone. Whereas with the face, we have that extra swipe. I'm not sure if there's a way to change that, but I'd like to see that as an option where it could instantaneously go in just using our face. Maybe that's an added security measure for accidental reads or things like that, but both options work. I think, depending on your photo, you might have more success or less success. I'm impressed with how good of a job this one does compared to even some of the other A-series devices that I've used. So I'm thinking a lot of that comes down to just the picture that I used at the time to set it up. Next, let's talk about specs. With our A03S, we're gonna be comparing it to some other Samsung A-series devices. So with this phone, we're comparing it to the A53 5G and the A13. First up, in regards to battery capacity, we have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery capacity, and that's our average across all of the devices. Next, in regards to fast charging, this supports 15 watt fast charging, whereas the average is 18 watts. Next, there is no wireless charging for this phone. Storage is 32 gigabytes, but it is expandable. The average is 64 gigabytes. Next, for RAM, three gigabytes of RAM in this phone, the average being four. In regards to the front megapixel count for the camera, we have five megapixels, whereas the average is 15. So we're about a third less there than the average. In regards to the rear camera, the megapixel count, 13 megapixels, whereas the average is 42. In regards to CPU, we have different CPUs across all the devices, but we can count the cores and the speeds. So this has eight cores for the CPU. That is the average. The speed, 2.35 gigahertz, whereas the average is 2.25, so it's slightly faster. In regards to screen size, this has a 6.5 inch display, whereas the average is 6.533. So we're right in line with the average. 720 by 1600 is the resolution at a 60 hertz refresh rate. In regards to brightness, 400 nits for the brightness, the average being 566. So it's slightly less. No IP rating. And in regards to the weight of this phone, it's 196 grams, whereas the average is 193. Moving right along into benchmarks, we sampled a couple of different apps to see how it compares and stacks up to the competition. First up with Geekbench 5, we got a single core score of 176 and a multi-core score of 908. Typically the higher, the better. So let's see how we stack up. So for single core score for Android devices up at the top, the OnePlus 11 comes in at a blazing 1340. We didn't even break 200. Then we have the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 in second place, followed by the Galaxy Z Flip 4 in fourth place. And do we have any other Galaxy phones in the top 20? Doesn't look like it. We do have the Google Pixel 7 and 7 Pro and 6A all right there, slightly below the Microsoft Duo 2. And we're way down here at the bottom. So a score of 176 puts us right with the Samsung Galaxy C7 Pro. Slightly ahead of the Sony and Motorola Nokia phones. 
and the Galaxy J7 Perks. Asus Zen Phone 4. Here's some other nearby devices, a little bit higher. Xiaomi Mi 4C, OnePlus 2, the Galaxy A10 coming in at 199, and the Nvidia Shield tablet at 208. And probably at no surprise to you for our multi-core score, we got the OnePlus 11 again up at the top, and our third and fourth slots are for the Fold 4 and the Flip 4. We got a score of 908, so we got to go down quite a ways again to see what other devices even compare. So at 898, we got the Galaxy Note 5 Duos and the Galaxy S6 at 889. And then right above us, Sony phone, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, the A30, the A12, the A5, the Note 5, the Redmi Note 4X, the S6 Edge Plus, C9 Pro, so you get the idea of where this phone stacks up performance-wise. Lastly, when in doubt, let's just see how it opens up apps. That's a pretty simple test. So we got the Google Play app right here. We just open that. Just get a feel for how responsive everything is. Some of these apps have never been loaded before, so keep that in mind. So watch what happens as we go ahead. Let's just exit out of it and let's pull up the Play Store again. Galaxy Store. Pull up Chrome. Let's go grab some bloatware. Sorry, LinkedIn. Got to install a new version. Let's pull up Office. So same thing, got to do some updates there for Microsoft. Lovely. Spotify. So hopefully that helps you get a feel for everyday performance and use. Now let's talk about our speed test. So this phone is not 5G, so keep that in mind. There's also so many variables. Don't get caught up in all the little details here. What you really need to understand is, is this gonna be able to handle popular apps and all of your streaming needs, things like that, on the go? The short answer is, even at 4G LTE, the answer is yes. So we used Visible's network, and look at the results that we got. 42 ping, 21 up, and 24 down. We're getting the awesome scores for up and down. Testing multiple apps here from Google Chrome to Google Maps, so navigation, Netflix video streaming, Spotify music streaming, YouTube watching videos, and even Zoom if you wanted to take a Zoom call on the go, things like that, mobile work. We're not gonna have any issues with this phone and Visible's network. So keep that in mind. It's gonna be good enough for the average user and what you're planning to stream or consume on the go. Now you're listening to our raw unedited audio for our voice sample. This is how everything is gonna sound if you wanna use the Samsung Galaxy A03s to make or take phone calls, maybe record some lectures, voice memos, things like that. This is what you can expect from the mic quality. Now, just for fun, let me hold it out in front of my face. So now we're holding it at an arm's length away from us and we're talking so you can hear how it's gonna sound. Just for fun, let me set it down on the table. I'm gonna keep talking right here, and now I'll go further back. We're in the very back. If you can hear how things sound this far away, if you wanted just to have something recording in the room, this is what you can expect for the mic and audio quality with our Samsung Galaxy A03s. Now let's test out the speaker quality if you wanna use this to watch your favorite movies, TV shows, listen to music, things like that. We're gonna stream a couple of seconds of the song Backseat Broken by Music Chef. Music Chef is home to stream safe music for content creators. So, max volume, let's listen in. Now a couple of seconds from another Music Chef song called Dripping With Ice. So 
So how'd that sound? It's pretty obvious when you're playing music at full volume, we have one rear firing downward speaker in the bottom portion of the phone. Now let's talk about the display. So this has a 60 Hertz display. We're looking at the display settings right now. We have a light in the dark mode, adaptive brightness. We can adjust the brightness manually as well too. We have an eye comfort shield, a couple of different font sizes, zoom, things like that, screen timeout. But you'll notice since this is 60 Hertz, we don't have the option to have a higher refresh rate or to enable anything along those lines. If it was 90 Hertz, 120 Hertz, you get the idea. To sample the 60 Hertz refresh rate, I thought the best way to do that is just to show you what it's like to move your finger back and forth quickly on a web page. Maybe that'll help you see how it's animated and how quickly it refreshes or how choppy it might be. I think it's pretty hard to tell. I'm so accustomed to 60 Hertz refresh rates. I'm not the best judge of that. Some of you are really picky. You have to have 90 or 120 at this price point. 60 is about what you can expect. So we have the Verge pulled up right here, just a popular tech blog. I think the screen isn't even bad for being 720. Not as bright as some of the other A series phones. The resolution still looks pretty good. Now we'll browse YouTube with the trending section right here. We'll load some videos and then we'll come back and you'll be able to see maybe how quick or slow it is. But maybe you can notice a little bit more on YouTube. I think it's a little more noticeable here, the 60 Hertz. Obviously if you're gaming, you'd like the higher refresh rate. And I don't think it's that bad though. But that's your screen sample. Now let's talk about the camera. Before we get to our sample photos and videos, I wanted to walk you through the camera app with a couple of quick settings so you can get an idea for what you can expect. So first up, when we open the app, we're in our photo mode. We have a couple options here to zoom from 1X to 10X. There is no ultra wide lens with this phone, which is a bummer in my opinion. I love ultra wide lenses. That's my favorite thing to have on a phone. And then up at the top, you'll notice we have our settings gear icon. This takes us to our camera settings, selfie picture settings, auto HDR, location tagging, watermark. So a couple of features we can tweak. We have flash settings, timer, our aspect ratio. We have some filters in the top right hand corner. We have a portrait mode, which is great. We can adjust the blur. I like that mode a lot. Next for video, you'll see very similar layout, filters, aspect ratio. We have full HD 30 or HD 30, so 1080p or 720. No 4K, which is also a bummer. Same zoom, 1X to 10X. Look at our settings. You'll notice a lot is grayed out since those are for photos, but you get the idea. And then we have this more section right here. So we also have a pro mode, a macro mode, a panorama mode, a food mode, and a hyperlapse mode if you want to create some cool little time lapses. We have all those options. And if you hit that question mark up at the top, it'll walk you through some of the different modes. So you can understand them better. But that's a quick peek at the camera and what it's able to do. Now let's go ahead. Let's look at some photo and video samples. So this is your raw sample video and audio. You may notice we're outside with some wind chimes and a very steady breeze. This is currently at 1X and it's at 1080p full HD. There is no 4K option. Now let's test out the zoom. Now you're looking at the same footage at 2X. Now we're at 4X. 
And lastly, we're all the way zoomed in at 10X. So now let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to the Samsung Galaxy A03s. This is what I want to say about this particular device. And this is just from my own experience. The camera is underwhelming as you'd expect. Don't expect great quality in any sort of low light conditions, things like that. I really wish we had an ultra wide lens and improved clarity in both the front and rear facing cameras. Next up in regards to the display, this isn't a full HD display, it's 720p. That actually isn't that big of a deal to me due to the size of the screen. It's not like anything super pixelated or things like that. Again, at this price point, I don't fault it for that too much. And I thought it's been very enjoyable, even if it's truly only at 60 Hertz for the refresh rate. Battery's great, 5,000 milliamp hours. They didn't skimp there. Sure, they skimped on storage at 32 gigabytes, but it is expandable. So we gotta tip the cap to Samsung there that we still have the ability to increase the storage. I believe up to one terabyte, which is pretty impressive. This is just a budget friendly, entry level phone, nothing flashy, nothing over the top. You're not getting wireless charging or super fast charging or anything along those lines, but you're also not paying for it. 